Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to show you the tire pressure monitoring system we got for the flatbed. Um, I think it's very important to be able to monitor your trailer tires. It's something that kind of gets overlooked and you don't really always check the tire pressures, or at least I don't, um, I'll admit that. So I looked at the Schrader valve style that had like a little gauge that would like popped out green, red, yellow, based on the pressures. Those come preset pressures. I couldn't find one for exactly 110. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Um, I also saw some reviews about how they stick out really far and I want to catch them on something and plus it doesn't do me any good when I'm driving the truck to be able to to, to see it it's a good visual in indicator to you know as you're as you're getting ready to leave but I wanted something I could see on the dash so I found this system didn't find a whole lot of reviews about it didn't find much on YouTube about it it's definitely a Chinese product um, they spelt tires t-y-r-e-s uh, but it actually feels pretty decent um, I've been running it for a few thousand miles I haven't had that many problems with it. Actually, I haven't had any problems with it. It took me a little bit to figure out how to set, uh, to change, set, set some of the settings, like the alarms for certain pressure ranges. I figured it all out. It seems to be a pretty good unit, so I wanted to show it to you. And so uh, I hope you enjoy. It comes with this mat for the dash. It's like a sticky mat. I don't think it's like truly sticky. I think it's just kind of that material that um, grips leather and stuff. And then you've got a... Um, charging cable you've got a little nut these nuts here in a specialty wrench um, those nuts go on your straighter valve first and then you've got these air valves right they go on your your straighter valve and then the nut backs on backs back up to this as kind of like a um, stop nut and then you've got your head unit here um, which is completely essentially completely wireless it will take that charging handle off that android We'll do that. It's got solar on the top. So that if you have it on a dash, you can get solar power. You've got some buttons to control it. But you can do power. I haven't had to do power, but that's what comes in the box. We're going to put that in the dump truck. Uh, let me show you. So this is our 305 excavator on our 16K trailer. Uh, this scaled out today. This whole setup today scaled out at 25,420 pounds on the local cat scales. Uh, we did finally upgrade our tires to 14 ply. These are rated for 4,000 pounds a wheel. So four, four, right, eight, and 16. So it's 16,000 pounds a tire on this machine. However, <clears throat> those are only uh, 7K axles. That is the weak point on this trailer. Here's the, see, and I did my odds on my left. So one, three, got it, one, three, and then two's on the other side of this, and then uh, four will be on the other side of that. So as you can see, I'm just going to get behind here. There is a, kind of see that silver nut there. Okay. Um, it backs up back to that and then it kind of locks it in place. That's kind of as a stop nut. That is one three on that side. And then this is, I'll try, I know the wind might be getting bad. This is two four on this side. It comes with enough sensors for six wheels. That's why we're going to do our dump truck. That will give us the uh, dually wheels. And so, I'll show you real quick how the how it works and um, <clears throat> so here I have it sitting right up on the dash. Uh, I do think there is some sort of motion sensor on here because as you saw when I hit the door um, it started I don't know if you're going to be able to see that so you can see it's 112 psi and 115 on the uh, left wheels driver side wheels we got 119, 116 on the passenger side wheels. It was blacked out when we got in the truck, but when the door when the door shut, it started, it turned on. So I don't think it stays on 24/7. I've put about two or three thousand miles on this truck. I have never plugged in the power cable to that. Uh, it's only been solar charged, so I think it would probably be fine to sit there. It is pretty stable here. Um, it's not like glued down. It's just on this pad, okay? And all I did, I didn't even use alcohol or anything. I just wiped the dust down because I need to clean the truck. I just wiped the dust down around it. These systems do come with a uh, repeater that you can wire in, like towards the back of the truck or front of the trailer to repeat the signal. I have not found that I needed that. So keep in mind, this is a uh, crew cab GMC Sierra. So the long, actually it's, it's the longest one. It's the, me, uh, it's not a mega cab. That's Dodge. It's the largest cab and I have a, not an eight foot bed. I have a six, six and a half foot bed. So 
a fairly long, long combination of, uh, of truck. Um, keep in mind that is a 25 foot deck on that trailer. So you figure 25 foot, you figure another six, plus maybe another four or five to the, to the rig. It says it's rated for 36 foot. Um, so let me see what happens. This is the farthest wheel out, right? And I'm gonna take this off if I can, here we go. I'm gonna take this off, right? Because, okay. I don't know if you can hear the video, but it's beeping. It's beeping because it doesn't have anything on that back wheel. Okay, so it picked up the distance there without a repeater. I have no repeater on this system. So um, it did pick that up. Now I have alarm set for, I have alarm set for, uh, these tires are rated for 110 PSI because they're 14 plies. I have this set to give me an audible alarm, the same one you just heard, to give me an alarm at 120 PSI and to give me an alarm at 100 PSI. So 10 pounds under, it starts giving me an audible alarm. 10 pounds over, it starts giving me an audible alarm. So when you see it picked up, it picked that wheel back up right away. And I, it has, one time that wheel got to 121 and it did give me uh, a beeper alarm. So you don't have to run these dualies. This car picture, if I can try to get you in to see this car, right? It's just four wheels. You can, in the settings, make it dualies in the rear, uh, which we'll, we'll do for the dump truck. But I think this is going to help me. I'm getting ready to take a trip to New York to help out a friend of mine. Uh, we've got a five-hour drive, and monitoring trailer temperatures when you're a teeny bit overweight, monitoring trailer temperatures is always important, but when you're a teeny bit overweight, it's even more important. I just wanted to, to show that. I thought it was a pretty cool system. It doesn't feel cheap. It's, it was like 120 bucks on Amazon. It doesn't feel cheap, so... Uh, but it's definitely, definitely Chinese. Okay, so I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. I know there's not a whole lot out there on this, at least I couldn't find anything on this particular system. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a cheaper Amazon option. For the amount that we tow, I think it'll be okay. Like I said, I've got a few thousand miles on it. It hasn't given me any trouble. I think that the battery life on the, on the head is, is okay. It doesn't actually feel as cheap as you would think it would feel at 120 bucks and it being a uh, definitely, definitely Chinese item. It feels decent and uh, I didn't find much out here so I wanted to make a video about this and uh, I think it's a I think it's a decent buy. It was a, a decent enough buy that I bought two of them. So, and I'm gonna put it on the dump truck and I think that'll, that'll help with the dump truck as well. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll continue to bring you more videos of things we do on the homestead. Thanks.